Mike. And reaction to Madigan's indictment has been swift with harsh words coming from Democratic and Republican lawmakers. WGN's Alyssa Donovan live from Madigan's Southwest Side neighborhood with more. Alyssa? Good evening, Ray and Micah. Yes, some calling uh, the alleged conduct in the indictment deplorable and a violation of the public's trust. We've been waiting outside Madigan's house today to see if he would come out and speak to the media, but he does have a history of being less than forthcoming with the press, so it's no surprise that he stayed quiet tonight, save for a short statement declaring his innocence that was written. Besides that, many lawmakers and political leaders speaking out tonight, both past and present, not holding back. It's why Illinois is one of the most corrupt states in America. And for four decades, Mike Madigan has presided over that corrupt system in Springfield. He's benefited politically. He's gotten wealthy. His family has gotten wealthy. Former Governor Rod Blagojevich weighing in on the indictment against Madigan. The two well known for their contentious working relationship, facing off for years over legislation and budgets. Just about everybody down there in Springfield, Madigan and his minions, they all got rich. And the people of Illinois get that. And that's why they're so angry and they're so distrustful of government. We all welcome our governor, J.B. Pritzker. Current Governor Pritzker quick to distance himself from Madigan since his first year in office. When asked about the indictment today, he said the corruption in government needs to be rooted out. Whoever it is, in whatever level of office in the state of Illinois, if you're committing acts of corruption, you've got to go. Mayor Lightfoot also weighing in on the case against Madigan and the work that went into reaching a point of formal charges. You know, I have a great deal of respect for my former colleagues um, at the U.S. Attorney's Office. As you know, John Lausch and I were colleagues at the same time in the office. He, this is something that would also have been approved um, by Maine Justice, so this would have gone uh, to DOJ for approval. But I would imagine that this case has lots of layers of evidence that got us to this point. WG and political analyst Paul Lisnick pointing out that those layers of evidence will not include emails or texts from Madigan and the case will likely heavily rely on the testimonies of others. Because Madigan has no cell phone as we know and he doesn't do email. So everything they've had to build has, going to, is, has to be through the words, the acts, the testimony of other people. We know there's the tapes of uh, former Alderman Danny Solis, so all, uh, Madigan is on those tapes apparently, but, um, but it's not going to be directly from him in that direct way that I've mentioned. The Illinois Democratic Party released a statement about the indictment tonight, uh, reminding us that Madigan did step down from his chair position last year. However, he does still hold a position with the third congressional district. They are requesting that he resigns that. Reporting live on the southwest side, Alyssa Donovan, WGN News. Thank you.